30 seconds left. That's all I freaking need. Looks like we're pretty safe, it seems like, too. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Let me stay alive for 10 seconds, kid. 10 seconds is all I need. Let me do it. This kid's got fucking dead silence, bro. Oh, did I do it? There we go, we did it! Secrets challenge complete! Finally, man. Screw this freaking challenge on Warzone, bro. It's super hard to do on Warzone, but there you go. It's possible. Ah, Secrets of the Pacific is completed, people. We got all these beautiful freaking pictures of uh, the new map, Caldera. This map's looking pretty freaking clean. I can't wait for this map. Two weeks, people. Let's rock and roll. Would you still care to talk to me? So what's up guys? It's Harry here by Nita or Quaji. Welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone. Yes, people, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Warzone the Secret of the Pacifics event that's only currently available in Warzone. It was actually available in Vanguard earlier today, but they took it out because it completely broke Vanguard in the worst of ways. So they'll probably be implementing it tomorrow or the next day or sometime soon. But for now, the only way you can get the Bomber Menace blueprint is through Warzone. So, you know, for all my free-to-play Warzone players that want to suffer with me, I suffered with you. I could have just easily waited for the Vanguard multiplayer challenges to come back, because in all honesty, they're super easy compared to what you have to do in Warzone. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to give you guys the best guide possible as to, you know, pretty much how to approach every intel location. Like, obviously, everybody's making videos on where the intel locations are, but I'm going to show you guys my strats as to how I got the challenge done. And I did it solo, by the way. I didn't... Call of Duty Warzone solos, I didn't do it in duos, trios, quads, or whatever the case is. I did this completely by myself, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, it was not easy, but this guide should hopefully help those of you that, that don't exactly have a friend to play with and are doing it in solos as well. So if you guys are excited to see all the intel locations and my strategy for each one, and you guys are excited to see the STG Bomber Menace Blueprint in-game in Call of Duty Warzone and Vanguard here. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn on those post notifications. We're getting closer to our ultimate goal of 100,000 subscribers. And with every new viewer coming through, I really hope you guys enjoy the content. What I do on my YouTube channel is upload entertaining Vanguard gameplay and Warzone gameplay, especially when the integration with Vanguard and the Caldera map comes out. I'm gonna be going absolutely hard, so... If you love my energy, if you love my passion, you know, stick through. You'll be part of the gang that, you know, came here before 100k. So I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Check me out on all of my social medias, but I've been talking too much. So let's get down to this guide. And pretty much for this guide, I'm going to tell you guys where each intel location is at and how I approached it. And keep in mind, you have to do one intel per game. You can't do two per game. I had the chance to do two per game, but the second intel... Uh, of the game just didn't let me like activate it or whatever so you can only do one per game so after you do one intel you either have to die or win the game or whatever the case is or you can leave i believe so yeah let's uh let's get into these intel guides i guess you could say so for our first challenge known as jailbreak we gotta go in battle royale go to the location shown in the photograph and find a mysterious object to unlock this reward and if you look at the photograph, it's basically at the gulag. So let me show you guys where that is. And when I mean the gulag, I mean like the prison on the map, not the actual gulag where you go to when you die. And this one's really easy. If you're coming from the gulag, you know, the actual gulag, uh, you know, you could just drop in on here or you could drop in from the beginning of the game if the airplane is close enough. And basically all you want to do is just go to this like second floor right here and you'll easily do it. So once you come right here, uh, you'll be in this area and you'll know that you're in the area when you see that little audio cue, you know, look for anything out of place from the UK team leader. And then you'll see a red ping pong like uh, flipper or whatever, it's paddle. I, I couldn't even think of the name. You'll find the paddle and you'll be able to pick it up. And then once you pick up an intel, you have to survive a certain amount of circles. For this one, it was one circle. So this one wasn't that bad. The best strat for doing this is get to a vehicle ASAP as you can and uh, pretty much take advantage of, of the vehicles at this point. 
because uh, I know there's somebody else over here. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna I'm I'm hightail it out of here. I see a car over here. I'm like, let me get on this car and get the hell out of here. And then once you get a regular car, try to find a truck. Because once you find a truck, a truck is well armored and you'll be able to survive for a long amount of time. And don't forget, your circles are on the bottom left. And we only needed to survive for two minutes and a half. So we just dr drove around for two minutes and a half. And then uh, once that circle was done, we were done and we got the challenge done. So... Like I said, vehicles are gonna be your best friend here. Be very attentive, you know, this is gonna be hard because a lot of people are gonna be doing these challenges and uh, yeah, that's Jailbreak. So for our next challenge, we got On The Air and it says, in Battle Royale, look for sweet deals on the latest electronics to unlock this reward. And if you look at the little photograph featured for this one, it's basically gonna show you this building that's across from train station. It's an electronics store. So I'll show you guys where that is on the map and let's go. Okay, so here we are, you know, dropping into Warzone and this is where you guys are gonna find it on the map. You know, marking it super nice and easy for you. It's a very, very iconic uh, part of the map, I'd say. So once you drop in on it, you know, you want to try and uh, get inside it. But in this situation, there's a bunch of people that were dropping here. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it's not the best to engage him right now. And so I decided to pretty much get away from this building and get some guns and some armor. And then come back a little bit here. And so that's what I did. I came back, got my heartbeat sensor, got an OTS-9 that I picked up off the floor. I'm like, I'm ready for these fools, man. So that's exactly what I did. You know, I, I just tried to make sure where these fools were at. The dude up top got sniped from somebody across the map. And then there's this dude next to me. I'm like, uh, there he is. And he's right next to what we got to do. So once you clear everybody out in this area, you want to go to the microphone here. And that's going to give you your intel. And this time you got to survive three freaking circles. So they're already upping up the, the difficulty curve from one circle to three circles. And you already know what I did. I went all the way to the fire station here. Got myself that freaking big baller truck. And decided to freaking ride away into the distance. And the way you want to use these trucks is that you should be on the edges of the map where nobody goes to. So like on this left side of the map, nobody goes over here. You know, only weirdos come over here. And you know, I'm going to be a weirdo for this game because I'm not trying to challenge anybody. So I pretty much just stayed around here for 12 minutes. And by the end of those 12 minutes, I was done. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you're bumping music. Make sure you have something entertaining going on when doing this. Because this is going to be one of the most boring events of your life. It, but just make sure to move around at some points because people will try to find you and challenge you but there you go that's on the air challenge completed and uh yeah now we can move on to the third challenge so for the third challenge known as fast food we want to go to in battle royale enjoy a quick meal while you wait for your plane to unlock this reward and if you look at the photograph it pretty much shows you a picture of like a burger town ad and since this mentioned the plane to unlock the reward that means we got to go to the airport so here I am marking it on the map once again for you guys and it's not gonna be on the roof of airport of course It's gonna be somewhere inside which is I'm just showing you guys where it, in the general area it is So when you jump out of the plane, you gotta you know come in here Shoot through this glass like a badass like you're a Jay's Bond movie And I, I saw a lot of people were here and if I grabbed this grab I would have came down and like destroyed everybody But I, I saw there's a couple people there. I'm like that dude has a gun I'm not gonna bother with him I'm gonna let them duke it out and then I came back with a like a three-round burst pistol got up on here for the platforming and Destroyed him because he destroyed the other dude So now that I'm home free I can show you guys where the Burger Town Intel is at and that's gonna be right here the secret little area Which is pretty crazy this time we also had to survive for three freaking circles, and this was freaking annoying. I think I failed like twice on this one. But uh, there's a car down here, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna focus up on the car down here. But then I also had to find a truck, because the truck's gonna help us find uh, surety. So I was like, oh, the nearest truck is over there. So I'm gonna take this car right here, use it to drive me to the truck over there. And basically, when I got to the truck over there, I'm like, we're home free. Now we just gotta go on the outskirts of the map, travel around. Uh, you know, avoid any enemies for three freaking full circles, another 12 to 16 minutes of just boringness. And after that is done, we have finished the challenge for freaking Burger Town out here, which is known as the fast food challenge. I should have freaking thought about that. But yeah, that's how you do it. Now for our fourth challenge, we got the on your feet challenge. And in Battle Royale, go to a place where you can get patched up after a firefight to unlock this reward. And if you guys look at the photograph, it's basically a whole bunch of diagrams of like the human body and stuff, which means that we got to go to the hospital in Verdansk here. So let's go there. Okay, so here we are once again on the map and I'll show you guys where it is on the map. But this one was super freaking annoying. And not just for the intel location. The intel location is actually really easy as you guys will see here. I just fly into the hospital 
It's very straightforward. It's on the very first floor. You don't have to go to any of the higher floors or anything like that, which is very convenient. You know, I'm glad they kept it kind of simple for this one. Uh, I mean, this was my first time doing it, so I got kind of lost here at first. I mean, it was good that I got a couple of guns, right? But right here, if you go to this window right here, this is where you're going to find a little, like, syringe uh, blue box or whatever. And you got to survive four freaking circles for this one. That's the annoying part. You got to survive for like 20 minutes in your freaking truck and hope that nobody, you know, tries to hunt you down eventually. So once again, I go to the nearest car and I've marked the, the nearest truck, uh, you know, near me. So I use this car, get to my little big baller truck out here, and I go to the edges of the map again for 20 whole minutes. I failed this a couple of times because people found me and decided to gang up on me for whatever reason. But after a couple of tries, so a couple of long winded tries and fails, I finally got it done. And this one, this one's probably like second annoying, to be honest, just because you have to survive for freaking four, just, just four, four freaking circles, man. It's, it's so dumb. On your feet, man. You gotta be on your feet for this. Huh. And here we are with our fifth challenge known as Abandoned. And in Battle Royale, those who go beneath the earth in an unfamiliar location can unlock this reward. And unfamiliar indeed, because if you look at the photograph, it's showing you to go to the underground mines that just recently got added with today's update here in Call of Duty Vanguard. So let's show you guys where the mines are. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys where it is. They're on like the northwestern part of the map, as you guys can see right here, that little marking right there. And this one isn't all that bad. Uh, it's just kind of hard to find the intel at first, but the survival of the circles is not that bad. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of enemies over here, and I was very unfamiliar with this area, as you, you guys can see. I actually was able to do this on my first try, so that's why you guys are seeing like a very rough estimate. And you guys are going to see so much action here, because I had to clap like three or four enemies before I could even find the uh, the intel. So I picked up this PPSH, fucking destroyed that dude, bruh. Just, just, just sit him down, bruh. You know what I had to do. I, I'm out here trying to get that intel, and I hear somebody behind me, so I'm trying to run away as much as possible before I uh, have to challenge anybody. And I hear that they're still fighting and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep looking over here. Hopefully I can find the intel here eventually. You know, maybe find some more armor. That's what I was trying to do. You know, just be ready for fights out here. So right here, I think I see the intel, but I'm like, wait, bam, just, just, just I'm just out here ready to destroy. So I found the intel, it's on this table thing and I only have to survive two circles, thankfully. And I listened to this dude, and I was like, okay, I think we're safe. And then, nope, there's another dude over here. So I'm like, you know what? I could challenge this dude. I could not. And I'm like, nope, not going to challenge. It's going to get the hell out of here because I only got to survive two circles. I found my intel. I got what I needed. I don't need kills. And I straight yeeted onto the car. You already know the strat. We find a truck, and we go all the way to the truck. And then, you know, we live in uh, La La Land on the outskirts of uh, the map here. So, yeah. Good thing we only had to survive uh, two rounds for this one. It, this one I got on my first try easily because there's only two two circles basically, and I was able to ponder all about life and think about my successes. So, pretty easy to do the abandoned challenge here. It's just the initial intel, especially if you haven't visited the mines, is a little bit rough. So yeah, there's that. But now we're gonna move on to the final freaking challenge. So here we are, secrets. In Battle Royale, secrets from the past have been revealed recently. Go there to unlock this reward. As you guys can see from the photograph, it's the World War II bunkers that they recently added in Season 6 of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War slash Warzone. And the thing about this is that there's three possible locations for the intel to spawn that I've gathered. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys them all right now. Okay, this one was a fucking doozy. So there's three possible locations. I'm going to show you guys this first one. So there's uh there's this one at airport. That's the one I like to call the airport uh, World War II bunker. So that's the one I'm gonna land on first, just to show you guys uh, where exactly to look. And this is room specific. They're they're like all the World War II bunkers are like structured the same, so you'll be able to recognize each one easily. But you just gotta go down the left over here and like make another right and then the left or something, and you guys will see the room that I'm talking about. But it's gonna be hold on, I'm just trying to you know armor up out here, get ready to body some fools, you know. Get ready, and it's gonna be this room right here. It's usually gonna be on this uh, one, just somewhere around this room. Might be next to that painting or what. And watch this. Cheater. I love people making people mad, but unfortunately, I didn't get no audio cue. I didn't get any any sort of cue, so it was not in this location, sadly. So the next location you gotta look at is that location over there at Salt Mine that I just uh, marked down. You know, make sure you guys slow down the video. You guys didn't catch that, but. Uh, that's the second location, so you know, I grab a car randomly, 
Go all the way over there, kill some freaking sweats. I bought like three sweats over here. I'm just cutting down the gameplay because this video is already super long enough. And then I go down here thinking I'm safe because I'm like, I, I body three dudes up here. I should be fine, right? And nope, there's still one more freaking camper. And I should have reloaded my PPSH beforehand. So I got to the gulag and I'm like, you know what? We're coming back and we're actually at the third location. And this is the third and last location that you should check, which is the Boneyard uh, World War II bunker. So there's the Boneyard World War II bunker, the Salt Mine World War II bunker, and the Airport World War II bunker. And here in the Boneyard World War II bunker, once again, go to that same room because all the, the, the bunkers are structured the same. And uh, basically, it's not here either. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? It really was at the one where I died before I went to the Gulag. So I'm like, you know what? That leaves me with my last choice. I gotta get over there, clap who's, whoever's still over there potentially, and just, just go crazy. Especially because the zone is about to end. And if I could grab this intel before the zone ends, then it'll automatically count the, the circle or whatever, which would be really nice. You know, I don't have to like spend, uh, spend time you know worrying about extra circles so i'm like hey, let me look for it 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 where is it where is it where is it i don't got a lot of time and i got 20 seconds and he we it so i'm like wait where is it and it was like oh find anything out of the ordinary i'm like where is it where is it where is it and there it is just in the nick of time before the first circle ends i was able to get it and you only have to survive two circles for this one it better have not have been four circles because god damn it it was hard to freaking find this intel like this one, the intel is hard to do because there's three possible locations. But basically, the strat for this one, like when it comes to finding the intel, you could either just like keep going to one of the locations every single game and just hope that you get it. Or you can just survive long enough in the game and go to all the locations and then find it eventually and then survive from there. So that's the way to go about it. I was like, you know, what? I'm going to be good. I'm going to go to the outskirts now. And unfortunately, this dude gets in my way. It makes my life a lot harder. So I'm like, oh boy, I'm about to fight this dude. I better not choke now because I fought so much already. So I played this dude out. Freaking body them. It's been a minute since I played Warzone, by the way. I'm so, so used to Vanguard. But I killed him, luckily, and I'm like, damn, man, what the heck am I going to do? I got no car or anything. But I was like, you know what? It's only one more zone that I got to survive. So you know what? I'm just going to do the big man thing to do and camp in this fucking building for a whole, like, two or three minutes. And that's exactly what I decided to do, man. I didn't care. I was going to get this freaking money. I was going to freaking finish this video for you guys and take the fucking W. And, uh, you know, three minutes pass. There's a dude around me that I'm, like, listening for because I can hear him. He has ghost on, but he doesn't have that silence on. So I'm trying to be hella careful being ready for him. I'm like, don't come in here. Don't come in here. And bam. Secrets challenge is done. And when you get that little, like, black fade or whatever, that's when you know you, you've you completed it. And I'm just like, yes. Freaking thank you, man. I did not want to do that one over again. That one was really hard, but... All in all, this one is just hard because you just gotta survive. I wouldn't say it's hard. It's probably just fucking annoying because you gotta, like, take a truck somewhere to survive or if you have friends, you know, just all survive in a helicopter or something together. But, yeah, that's uh, that's how you do the Secrets of the Pacific Warzone event. And, uh, yeah, that's how I ended up with it. So, let me go through all the rewards in depth real quick for you guys and uh, show you guys the SDG blueprint as well. Hey guys, decided to pull out the face cam again. Even though it's 12.30 in the morning and I'm making this video, it'll probably go up at like 1 or 2 a.m. I just want to say thank you guys for the love and support. But here are the rewards. So for the first Warzone challenge, you get this beautiful Marina Street calling card. And I'm guessing this is how the Caldera map is going to look like. And I'm really excited to see how visually amazing this, this, this map looks. So that's how that looks like. We also got the local radio emblem here that you can put on. We got the volcanic souvenir charm, which looks pretty clean. We got the naval plant sticker. We got the familiar machinery spray that you can put on. And we got another calling card known as hospitable resort. So this, this map is definitely gonna be a lot more tropical from the looks of it and just much more vibrant in color, which is gonna be really cool. I won't go over the Vanguard freaking rewards or whatever until the Vanguard challenges are back. I'll, I'll make a whole video on the Vanguard one. And unfortunately, we, as you guys can see from the bottom left there, it says Blueprint Available in Warzone Pacific Season 1. So you actually can't see the Blueprint in-game on Call of Duty Warzone just yet. However, if you complete it here in Warzone, you can actually see the Blueprint in Vanguard Multiplayer. So let me go to Vanguard Multiplayer and show you guys how this baby looks like in-game. Let's rock and roll. And here we are with the Bomber Menace Vanguard Secrets of the Pacific reward. Looks pretty freaking clean, you know? 
Looks nice with the little the little shark on there and everything. I like it. I like it personally. And uh, yeah, I just want to know what you guys think about it. You guys uh, like the look of it? You guys think it's uh, anything like crazy or that you should have? Like, I think it's okay. You know, it's nothing nothing wild, obviously. But I think it's a worthwhile reward. It's unique and. You know, if you don't do it within these two weeks, this will be like an exclusive blueprint. So, uh, get on it if you want this blueprint. Uh, camels don't really make it look all special. Like, it, it, like the camels just get rid of the design, basically, and just replace it with the camel. But, um, yeah, hopefully this video was worth it, man. This was going to be a 20-minute video, and hope you guys watched through most of it. I didn't expect this video to be this long, but hopefully it helped you guys in the end of the day. Uh, hopefully this was worth it and just uh, thank you guys for love and support if this, if this did help you or you guys were ever entertained by it for some reason make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and you turn on those notifications like i said we're on the road to 100k and i've tried really hard on a lot of my videos to make sure you guys are entertained or informed but yeah i wasted a whole day of double weapon xp just to get you guys this cons so i really hope you guys appreciate it from the bottom of my heart but yeah i'm gonna get off now we can show you guys this video, you know, upload it, and then hopefully I'll be streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mark of a hero. You guys can watch me uh, grind for uh, weapon levels, and I should be done grinding at that point. But yeah, Bomber Menace, Wars and Secrets of the Pacific. Vanguard Secrets of the Pacific should be next. I'll make a, a Vanguard gameplay on this gun uh, whenever they, they implement the event again in Vanguard. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. And thank you for being a beautiful audience. Bye. I love you all. <laughs>